Are you sick of your child asking you, what time is it? What time is it? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a lesson that you can teach to your kiddos on how they can read digital clocks and analog clocks. Coming up. Hey everybody, it's April from Teach Young Minds Online Tutoring Services and today we are going to be talking all about how to teach our kiddos to tell time using an analog clock, using the analog clock, and using the digital clock. I'm going to be showing you guys a sample lesson of how I teach my kiddos. This channel is all about teaching our young kiddos, kindergarten through second grade, um, activities on math, reading, writing, and growth of mindset. So if you are interested in any of those topics, make sure you give us a like, subscribe, so that you can be notified when new videos come on. All right, so let's get to that lesson. Hi friends, welcome to Teach Young Minds, and today we are going to be learning about time telling time to the hour. For time, we need a couple of things, okay? The first thing is we're gonna need a pencil. Now, I'm gonna be using a pen so that you can see what I'm writing. Pencil's a little bit lighter, but I want you to be using pencil, okay? I'm gonna have two markers with me. I have a red marker and a blue marker, and then, um, there are a couple worksheets that are at the Teach Young Minds free resource library and with that there's a worksheet where you can make a clock and then there's a digital clock we'll be working on and I put a put it in a um, protective sleeve so that I can write on it and these two worksheets that we're going to go over really quick. If you don't have it right now, no big deal. You can just follow along with us. Um, but if you do, that's great. We'll get started. Okay, this is our clock right here. And I have a poem for us that's going to help us remember what this little hand does and what this big hand does, okay? This little blue hand right here is called the hour hand. That tells us the hour that's um, the time to the hour. This big hand, this red hand, tells us the minutes, okay? Um, and this is actually called an analog clock. I know we use a lot of digital clocks these days, that's why we're going to go over both, but it's really important that we do um, face clocks, analog clocks, because you're going to be seeing them um, everywhere, as well as digital clocks too, all right? So here's my poem. Here's my poem. It goes, the big hand has the speed, the little hand has the power, the big hand tells the minutes, the little hand tells the hour. Okay, let's try that one more time. The big hand has the speed, the little hand tells the hour, the big hand tells the minutes, the little hand tells the hour, okay? We're not gonna get too deep into um, the minutes. We're gonna talk about the hour hand a lot today, okay? So for the hour hand, we're gonna look at these black numbers, and I'm actually going to go over them in blue to remind me that the, the hour hand says that number, okay? So we have, well, I'm gonna skip this one. This one's a tricky one, so we'll go over it. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. Maybe I'll just, well, I can kind of do it. There's one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. I can kind of see it. Five o'clock, six o'clock, Seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, then there's ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, and twelve 
o'clock. Okay? All right, so whenever the hour hand, the blue hand, gets to these numbers, that's the hour, okay? Now, the minute hand looks at these numbers. They don't look at this inside number, they look at the minutes. And these little dashes are the minutes. Now, we're not gonna go all the way around today. We're just gonna look at when this minute hand gets to the 12. And it doesn't say 12, it says o'clock. This zero zero says it's it starts the new hour, so it's zero zero, or it says o'clock. Okay, all right. So let's say for example, the twelve o'clock is going to, or sorry, the uh, minute hand is going to stay at the twelve. All right. So if the hour hand is pointing to the one, then we say one o'clock. Can you say that with me? One o'clock. Right. Now, what the face clock does, what the analog clock does, is time will pass and it will go around the face clock and as it's going around, watch what happens. It's really fast. The red one's really fast, isn't it? Well, the blue one slowly goes to the next hour. Slowly goes to the next hour. Okay? Until it is, what do you think that time says? The hour set hand says it first, two o'clock. Okay, now it's going to go around again, but I'm just going to skip that. The minute hand is going to go around again, but I'm going to skip moving the minute hand just to save time. What's this time? Three o'clock. What's this one? Four o'clock. This is five o'clock. This is... Six o'clock. This is ooh, it's a little tricky to move. Seven o'clock. What's this one? Eight o'clock. Nine o'clock. Ten o'clock. 11 o'clock, and the last one is 12 o'clock. Nice job. All right, we did it all in order. This time, I'm going to just show you what time and you tell me what time it is, okay? This is the time when we usually, well, if it's p.m., at night, towards the night, this is usually when my family and I start dinner. Six o'clock, six o'clock. And if it's towards the nighttime, it's 6 p.m., six o'clock p.m., okay? Let's see, this is usually the time when my kiddos go to bed. I have a two-year-old and a four-month-old, and this is usually when they start going to bed. What time is this? 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and if it's towards the nighttime, it's 8 o'clock p.m., okay? 8, or sometimes people say 8 p.m., all right? How about we switch to the morning, and I um, this is about the time that um, we usually wake up. Seven o'clock or seven a.m. A.m. is the morning. Seven a.m. Good job. Okay, now we're going to do digital. Okay, so a digital clock looks like this. 
and it has, let me see if I can get my other markers out. Do I have a blue? Oh, good. I have a red one. All right. So just like the face clock, the digital clock says the hour first, and then it says the minutes. Oh, no. I might have to write this in black. Sorry, friends. Oh, it's, that's okay. All right. Um, so we're going to say the hour and then the minutes in a digital clock. Now, whenever, remember what I said, whenever the minute hand is pointing uh, straight up, that starts, starts a whole new hour, we write zero, zero. Okay. So if I were to look at seven o'clock, this is how I would write it digitally. This is how I would write it digitally. I would write seven zero zero seven o'clock. So this says seven o'clock and this says seven o'clock. Okay? Let's see. If I can do another time and you can guess what time it is. Just remember this says the hour and this says the minutes okay what is this time nine o'clock right let's try another time what about this time three o'clock good job okay this time i'm going to i'm going to do a quick little activity here and we're going to do i'm going to um put down the the analog clock i'm going to show a time so how about this time and i want you to write down how you would see it in the digital clock so here's the time. Okay, now show it to me using, you did it the analog, with the analog clock. Now I want you to show me using, using the digital clock. Are you ready to correct it? All right, this says two o'clock. So this is two o'clock okay let's try another one hmm what about this time show it to me using the digital clock Oops, I should show it. Sorry. All right, this says five o'clock. Five o'clock. Okay? Awesome job, boys and girls. All right, let's try. This time, I'm going to show it to you with the analog, or with the digital way, and I want you to show me using the analog clock, okay? So show me this time. Show me this time using the analog clock. All right, are you ready to check it? It is four o'clock four o'clock nice job boys and girls all right let's try another time hmm, this is usually a time the time when my um son wakes up from his nap what's this time show it to me using the analog clock Are you ready to check it? 
This says five o'clock. Five o'clock. Nice job, boys and girls. You did a great job. So we just learned how to read or tell the time using an analog clock and use the time to the hour using the digital clock. Now, if you want extra practice, I have some worksheets here for you that you can do. And I'm just going to do, um, I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? And then you can do it on your own. All right, so the first one says, time to the hour digital clock, all right? Complete the digital clock that matches the analog clock. Okay, so remember you're going to use a pencil, but I'm going to use a pen just so you can see it a little bit better, okay? All right, so this time, ooh, you know what I like to do here? Want to learn a little trick? To make sure that this hour hand is pointing to the right one, I do draw a line to it, and it's touching the eight. And the minute hand is at the 12, but we don't say 12 because that's the 12 is saying the hour. Whenever the minute hand is on the 12, it starts a whole hour. So it starts at zero, we say zero, zero, which is o'clock. So we write eight o'clock. Okay, why don't you try this one and then I'll check it with you. Are you ready to check it? Okay, I'm gonna draw a line. I'm gonna do my little trick. I'm gonna circle what it's touching. It's the nine and the minute hand is at the starting of the hour. <coughs> Excuse me, so that's nine o'clock. Nice job, boys and girls. All right, so I think you can do the rest of these on your own if you want to do some extra practice, okay? This time is the time, this worksheet is time to the hour, the anal analog clock, using the analog clock. Complete the analog clock that matches the digital clock. All right, so remember, when you complete this, make sure your hour hand or your minute hand is longer than your hour hand, okay? Just like how it is in this worksheet, the minute hand, the hour hand is smaller than the minute hand. If they were both the same size, that would be really confusing. We wouldn't know which one would be the hour and which one would be the minute, right? Okay, so what's this time say? Seven o'clock. So our hour hand, remember our hour hands, our little hand is pointing to the seven. And zero, zero starts off, means a whole new hour. Remember when we have a whole new hour? That means the minute hand is pointing straight up. So that's seven o'clock. So now the digital clock matches the hour. All right, what's this time? Go ahead and try this one and then we will correct it together. Okay, this says three o'clock. So the three, uh, our hand, and it's the short one, is pointing to the three, and this starts a whole new hour. So we know the minute hand is pointing to the 12, or three o'clock. All right, my friends, I hope you had a great time with me. You just learned how to tell time to the hour. You should be so proud of yourself. Good job for working so hard. If you want to check out um, all different types of videos that will help you learn and grow your brain, you can go to the Teach Young Minds video blog and there's all these different types of activities and lessons there. Right, friends, that's it for this lesson today. I hope it was super helpful to you. Comment down below which activity do you think your learner would like learning best. 
Don't forget to grab that free resource at the Teach Young Minds a Resource Library. It has an analog clock, it has a digital clock that you can create with your kiddo, as well as these two worksheets that they can use for future extra practice. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.